Hey guys, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Good to see you. Today's video, we're going to do some dirt oval racing. Got a few changes for 2024 and I'm excited to talk about them. So let's head on over to the track, see what we got. All right, so we have made it to New Red's Hobbies in Ocala, Florida. I think this is a buggy late model platform and we're gonna hope that there's some other ones out here so that we can race it tonight. If not, I'll just take a transponder out and run it with whatever class would be appropriate, so not too worried about it. Gonna turn some laps. So let's go take a look at the pits and look at the car that we have for tonight. But luckily, I have a couple oval experts across from me here and I think that they have told me, what is it? It's a custom works? Yes, custom works. So in the comments, if we haven't mentioned it in the video yet, or if we mention it later, what is this, guys? I don't know. <laughs> the lovely folks over at Wits Racing. Where'd my body go? Here it is. Look at that thing, huh? What is this body? It's a late model? Yeah. Okay, so we're racing a late model tonight. And I think this is a mod motor. They run mod motors, right? Yeah, 6.5. See, I don't know if this is a 6.5. Yeah, that's a 6.5. Is it a 6.5? Yeah, I looked at it earlier. I don't know. Kevin Abbott, ladies and gentlemen, if you couldn't tell already, his legendary magnificent voice. Yeah, right. <laughs> and the 10 time defending champion, AJ Sale, uh, over yeah, there. Someone's gotta do it. <laughs> so we haven't hit the track yet. I'm excited to check it out. The way that it sits, the configuration it has right now, they think that it is super, what'd you say? It's gonna be tight, you think? I think it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. Gonna be tight? We'll see. I don't know. Like, I, this is a car I have no idea. So, I guess sometimes you would mount, or most of the time, the electronics would go on the other side and the battery on this side. And it has a little bit of uh, some extra weight in the back here. So, I don't know. We'll see what it does when it goes around the track. These guys over here saucing, heating tires, doing all kinds of crazy nonsense. I mean, honestly, that's kind of my game. So, <laughs> <laughs> we got the tire warmers out. We got some sauce. We'll use it if we need to. But I'm excited to get this thing on the track. So, let's go check it out. Real quick, before we get started, I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to today's sponsor, which is Wits Racing. This shirt is so sick. Let me show you. Huh? Love that graphic. I don't know anything about dirt oval racing, but it gets me excited. These guys were crazy enough to reach out to me and say, hey, we want to send you to the Chili Bowl to do some dirt oval stuff with the RC side and the full size race cars. I actually said no at first because I'm not the best dirt oval guy because I literally have zero experience, but they didn't care. They left me with no choice and they forced me to go. <laughs> to celebrate this special effort together, us, Wits Racing, you guys, me, they're giving us a huge discount. So if you've been waiting for a discount on something like a full ceramic bearing kit, spendy, some black turnbuckles, obviously it's the only color you should buy a red aluminum fan, or a black titanium screw kit. How sick is that? 20% off. RHRC, 20% off, witsracing.com. You guys go use that discount code as much as you like. It's probably here for a limited time because that's a crazy deal. 20% off. So let's jump into this heat race, finish up this video so that I can get ready for the chili bowl. Back to the action. Huh? I thought so. I see people on the driver's stand. Okay. No idea what to expect here. Make sure the steer's roughly straight and I can go around the track. Okay, Mike. Hey, on the first page. Mr. Jordan, if you're out there. I am blind. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Look, that's all the right I got right there. Just gonna go left, right? <laughs> just, just so y'all know, he's preparing for the chili bowl. I, uh, this is literally my second lap around on anything like this ever. <laughs> oh lord. I'm gonna try. No promises it'll be spectacular. 
What are we doing? Sorry, gentlemen. It doesn't want to steer. It pushes like a dump truck. Oh, it pushes like a dump truck. Can you do that real quick? No, you guys are gonna go flying by me. Don't worry about me. But it's like his first time on that track, so <laughs> you're gonna get to say I beat Ryan today. That it there you go. That's right? true. That's yeah. true. You said check his strut towers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're gonna wholesale it for round two, apparently. I'm telling you, man. You you do some uh, off-road buggy. Yeah, I normally I'm in the building normally. Right, he's doing. Got what he's got. <laughs> to go. Brad, Michael Jordan, Ryan, Ryan, roll Michael off. Jordan. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. I promise I'm not doing it on purpose. It's all about time. It's not about where you're at on track, it's about time. George Scott, he's just pumping everything. He's just throwing it in there. Yeah, I definitely got hope. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to take it. I'll let it all try to keep it. Getting ready for some chili bowl. We got a couple other guys getting ready for some chili bowl tonight. Michael showing away 37 laps, 84 on 4, Ryan the second out on 3540. Third by Ford Mess and Mr. Jordan. There it is, there it is. Oh, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, Jordan, and Brian, everybody's side. Now Michael Carter got 17 Q37 for 4. Brad with 36, Ryan 35, Jordan 33. Okay. Three minutes left. All right, boss, friend. Remember, drivers, put the car down on the table, head back out track to Marshall. Red light is on, driver. Slow it down. We'll get you a couple marshals out there, and then you turn them loose. After the first qualifier, we learned a lot. Thankfully, Kevin is like an oval genius, and he, he has pointed us in a much better direction. So the car was kind of set up that it just didn't have anything for corner entry. Like it was a dump truck. It would just go straight to the outside of the corner. Uh, he, I like the phrase he used, I had to park it just to steer. So we've freed up the rear end a little bit, tried to get some left right balance under control and we're hoping for a better go here in qualifier number two. This diff is done. Yeah, we're gonna volunteer for Charles there. You gotta give it a little bit handle and work a bit. Yeah, that red light is on. Go down, so we'll get some marshals out there for you. For your benefit, keep your car in one key. Caution 
Carter, after this race, I'm going to double check this transponder location. Yeah, it's below the point out there right now as far as Frank goes. Still working. Good clear now. Stewart's showing away now. Last time I was 6 1 balls up 7 2. There we go. We're adding to the top spot. Over all. Ryan to second by 7 10. Jordan back to less than a 10. Carter back just over a 10. Tight battle here. All four of them separated by one second right now. Brad with 6 0. Carter 5 9 8. Jordan 6 1 7. Harris 6 5 0. Oh. Fox down to 4. Jordan next time, put the car down, we'll see Mark will get you. That is time to race it out, race it out. Oh! Woo! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you got that one, Brad. Michael Carter beating the old time as well, 37403. <gasps> Brian Harris, 36404, going to qualify third overall, and Mr. Jordan beating right. the bump up the fourth. Get hang of it now. Yeah. Uh, Out in where you want it. No. <laughs> Do remember when you go over there to the chili bowl, they're gonna be high bite compared to what this is. I, that's what I'm trying to tell myself that like not to get too hung up on what it's doing right yeah. now. Yeah. All right, looking for our sprint drivers. Yeah, it should be more high bite there. I, I don't know. I, it looks that way. Just that's what everybody says. Yeah. So. Hold on a second. Turn the car over. You rubbing it all? Don't, don't look like it. He's he got some he dirt, thinks though. it's his uh his uh diff barking. Two minutes. The diff doesn't sound very left. happy, but I don't know. It looks so snug. Okay, so we did qualifier number two. Car got a little bit better, but it's still struggling with like two key things, I think. It doesn't want to turn in at all. And then on corner exit, it's incredibly loose. So we're trying to maybe find a happy medium. I don't really know, but Kevin is a magician. We're trying some things. I'll explain them more in detail, but we'll see how it goes here going into the main. I think that we qualified third out of four, baby. <laughs> We're gonna get it done. So let's go do this main event. Okay, so first race with it. Finished last at our local club race. <laughs> the only place to go from here is up, hopefully. I'm gonna look at the car and I'm gonna tell you guys a couple things that I'm experiencing and maybe you guys can help me out down in the comments below. So one thing that I've heard from a couple people is that the configuration of the car as it sits right now is that typically we're gonna to wanna to run the battery on this side and everything else on that side. So that's definitely something that we can change, no big deal. Diff is a little bit not satisfactory, feels a little crunchy, so we can definitely rebuild that, make that better. As for the rest of it, there's a couple different varying opinions on running a softer spring on one side up in the front or a stiffer spring in the rear. That might help some things as well. Right now, the car just doesn't want to steer and then on power, it just wants to rotate and dive into the infield. So a little bit of a challenge to drive, but possibly some stuff that we can fix. Excited to see what happens. Let's take this thing home, clean it up, and we'll wrap this video up. So my first dirt oval racing adventure was very slow and challenging, but we learned a lot and we have since reached out to a couple of the custom works experts and some dirt oval guys, Max Fleur, he was very kind and he referenced me to his winning chili bowl setup from a couple years ago. I think that's gonna be a great starting point for this car. Now I know this is an older car, it's nothing flashy and exciting to you dirt oval guys, but I think this is perfect for me. So I can set my expectations a little bit lower manage them perhaps, and just have some fun learning the dirt oval stuff in general. So talking a little bit about this car and the direction that we're going to take it, I think that the shocks are a little bit too leaned in. Uh, maybe their links are a little off. I don't know the shock weights that are in it. So we're gonna go ahead and reference Max's setup as a base starting point for where we're gonna take it to the Chili Bowl. And now we have a much better idea of what to do with the car. I think I've been mentioning throughout the video, we're gonna swap the electronics to the correct sides, get a fresh diff in there, and I think that's about it. Cause I don't know anything else to do to the car. <laughs> I think there's gonna be a lot of helpful people there at the Chili Bowl, so if my car is a little bit too out to lunch, hopefully some people out there can help me dial it in. 
I'm just looking forward to the whole experience. Spending some time with the full-size cars that the Wits Racing Team is sponsoring, that's going to be super cool. I just can't wait to get up there and spend some time with you guys. So again, I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to the folks over at Wits Racing. They gave us that super awesome discount code RHRC, 20% off all the racing products over at WitsRacing.com. And that's about it. Now I just got to go up there and try not to finish dead last. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Peace. Mm -hmm.